What's up guys, Hotshot Ginger coming at you again, working on my sleeper bed setup here in the uh, back of the pickup. This is what I had before, right? Just a little deck that I built. I didn't really want to make any adjustments, but I'm, I'm changing it up now because I want some storage base. Storage space, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take out the back seats. Um, I'm gonna look at it here for a little bit. But I got this deck that I built in here before, super low profile, but I need storage because I got, I got my kit set up with all my tools and emergency supplies here. And I want to be able to stick this in underneath. Plus I need a place to mount my fire extinguisher and all that. So making those adjustments here, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and kind of show you guys what I got set up now and uh, what I'm planning to do with it to uh, make it better. So check this out. Okay, so this is what I got now. Just a, There's just a couple pieces of wood underneath here to level this thing out, right? Um, I believe this sheet's two and a half feet wide and it's uh it's five feet long and this is just a piece of scrap wood that i pulled out from from the yard here uh, this is what the bottom looks like so you can see don't mind my fireworks i didn't underneath there so since the cut floor contours here i had a little bit longer step there and just a couple leveler boards um throughout but um, we're gonna go ahead and raise this up higher so I got storage space underneath. I might even take the seats out. Let's see. So from the seat here to the back of the glove box is only 26 inches and the width of my deck is 28 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the seats because I need some more room back here anyways, bro. Okay, so I got the uh, seats taken out. I'm just gonna build a whole new platform. Uh, guys, I suggest taking your seats out. It opens up so much more room. I got like an extra foot in here and it's uh, it's not too roomy to begin with. So, I mean, you can see right here how much that seat actually takes up when it's folded together. Probably more than a foot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna build a platform that's three feet wide. Now I'm going to build it 18 inches off the deck here um, and we'll see how that works out so stay tuned. Materials that you're going to need uh, for setting up a bed in the back, you're going to need a good sheet of uh, OSB or plywood, you're going to need a screw gun or an ugga dugga, uh, I just used a circle saw, helped out pretty good. A level definitely helps in a straight edge. Um, then you're gonna need the uh, your screws. I just got a little two and a half inches. Whatever bits you need to put the screws in. A pencil. You're gonna need a tape measure, right? And I use this guy here to help me cut the angles on the 45. Really easy. It took me like 30 minutes, maybe. Okay, so I got the front portion started out here. I cut that leg to be 18 inches and uh, overestimated these ones a little bit. So I gotta pull it back out and cut a little bit off there. As you can see, there's that gap between the floor. Then I'm gonna take my level, put my level on here, and uh, hold this up and figure out what my measurements on the back are, and then tack those boards in. And then uh, we'll have ourselves a pretty good deck there. I think three legs on each side should be enough to support my weight and not too heavy. I think a buck 70, so we'll see. All right, y'all, got the bed put in. Um, I'll show you the legs here. It's about roughly 18 inches high. You know, just, uh, all the legs are just in height because we're going toward the floor. But uh, yeah, I think I got plenty of room there to actually lay up there. Um, so scrap OSB that I had sit around is three feet wide and it's five feet long. 
right? And you can see them pretty close to level right there, all right? Um, I know this sucker is a, a little under 18 inches right there on top of that part. And these guys are like 21 and 7 eighths, I think. And I put in a little quarter brace just to keep it sturdy so it doesn't fold over on me. And I put, I just put two legs in the back um, just to hold the weight. Like I'm not really too worried about those ones collapsing. And I cut them with a half and they're half an inch short, so I just do those little half inch pieces. Board in there. Um, and yeah, it's pretty sturdy. I'll jump up on it and show you. Yeah, I got a good two feet above me in the ceiling here. And uh, I can rock around and, and this thing doesn't move too much. So. I think it's good. I think it's solid. Let's throw the pad on here. This little uh, six-inch mattress pad in here. Um, it's out of an RV bunk bed, so it's a little shorter than like a twin. I'm pretty sure you could fit a twin mattress in here though if you wanted. Yeah, and I got tons of storage space under there now. I can fit a whole cooler if I want, which I probably will. Yeah. Alrighty, got the bed set up. Got a ton of storage space over here on both sides. See, on this side, I actually <laughs> mounted my fire extinguisher right there on the post. So that's nice and DOT approved. I got my kit there, my emergency triangles, and the bed. And it's comfy. It's not too bad. I got the deck, this little mattress pad, and then my negative 10 degree sleeping bag. Now let's see how hard it is to climb up on this thing. Uh, there's not too much room up here, not gonna lie. Uh, but I don't need much. I'm gonna be laying down up here, so. Yeah, plenty of room. And honestly, there's more room to stretch out now than my previous deck before I couldn't even get my legs straight. Now, now I can uh, stretch out sideways here. But I can even go this way, probably. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be the move right there. Woo. Okay, we're all set up. If you guys are liking this, the DIYs, the how-tos, please like, sh share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm just trying to share the information I'm doing, you know, and uh, show you guys how it works. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you got questions, critiques, anything, I'm open ears, man. Thanks for watching, guys.